Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have a viewer writing in looking to upgrade his Nikon D3100. It was a great camera in its day, but it is an entry-level camera and it's getting a little old in the tooth, so I understand why he's looking to upgrade. But he may be interested in switching systems. We have Elijah. Am I reading this right here? Elijah, yeah. Elijah's writing in. I'm upgrading from the amateur stage to the enthusiast stage in photography. I need to upgrade my D3100. I'm switching brands. And I'm seriously considering the 7D Mark II or the D7200. So obviously, if you stay with the 7200, he's not switching brands. That's Nikon. I need to stay under $1,000 used or um, looks like I've got the end of the email chopped off, I think, relatively in that ballpark, he's saying. Uh, he says he shoots wildlife extensively, birds, deer, insects, etc. The AF on the 7D Mark II looks very good, but on the other hand... Uh, the 7200 will be slightly cheaper, in turn giving me a larger budget for lenses. I wanted to run this by an expert to see if you had better recommendations or other recommendations. Well, thanks for your question, Elijah. Um, I have a couple of questions for you, which will help frame your decision. First of all, what lenses do you already own? Because if you're heavily invested in the Nikon system, then you, it's a, to an advantage to you to stay Nikon and get the 7200 right there. That's a good reason that keeps a lot of people staying in a certain system is the investment in lenses. It's a lot of money to get into lenses and to have a good arsenal of lenses. And you can lose a lot of money selling them. You lose. Sometimes it can be you can still get decent money back, but you still usually lose money and it costs money to switch. Um, the other questions I have are, do you like Nikon? Are you happy with Nikon as a camera system? Do you like their lens offering? Do you like the ergonomics of the body? Do you like the cameras? Does the idea of getting a 7200 appeal to you? I'm thinking it does because you're considering it. And so if that's the case, then check mark, boom. Then you can stay uh, in the Nikon system or you could still look at the Canon system. Why are you looking to switch is the other thing. Is it only because of your questions about the AF? Uh, and because if that's the case, well, this is the next part of, of what I wanted to talk about was the autofocus, in my opinion, on the 72 and the D7200 is, is, is equivalent. The 72 has very, very good autofocus system, but so does the 7200. The 7200 basically had Nikon's flagship autofocus system from a one or two bodies ago of the top level bodies. In other words, it was probably maybe the D4, I think, that it inherited that from, maybe the D3. Um, regardless, it was their flagship top of the line autofocus system put into um, their top of the line. DX APS-C body. So it's a very, very capable autofocus system. It's very good. And I would say that the two of them are on par because the 70, 72s from Canon is a very good, very capable autofocus system, top of the line for their APS-C cameras. So if that's all that you're worried about, if that's the only thing that's making you look at the Canon, I would stay with the Nikon, get the D7200, and, um, and continue on with your Nikon experience. I would get the 7200, add to your lenses and whatnot. If there's other reasons, if you're considering um, wanting to be in the Canon system for other reasons, maybe you're thinking down the road of a full frame, 6D Mark II, Canon 5D Mark IV, maybe even a 1DX Mark II, um, then that gives you more reason to consider switching. But if really, if it's only just that you're concerned that, that you're not going to have as good autofocus, then I think you'd be fine with the 7200. Let me throw it back to our viewers, though. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? 7200, 72 on par for autofocus. Uh, do you have a differing opinion? Is there something else you think he should look at? Other considerations why he might want to switch or might not want to switch? Let us know in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys. Thanks for your question, Elijah. I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of our viewers have to say on this one. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.